Hello, I'm Lawrence Marstaller. I'm CEO of Salutaris Medical Devices. Thank you for your interest in learning about our product for brachytherapy for neovascular age-related macular degeneration, or wet AMD. Salutaris is delighted to announce uh, delivery of our commercial-ready device. Uh, Salutaris uh, technology is not available in all markets in the United States, where Salutaris holds a 510K clearance and FDA registration. Uh, discussion today is uh, in regards to an investigational device. The Salutaris uh, SMD1DA applicator is a sterile packed single use ophthalmic applicator. Salutaris technology is developing a minimally invasive brachytherapy for neovascular wet AMD. Brachytherapy is the use of sealed radioisotopes placed next to the tissue to be irradiated. And has shown utility in a number of diseases, uh, as well as uh, benign diseases of uh, neovascular growth, both inside the eye and in recent controlled trials of uh, neovascular bundles of wet AMD. The company has completed a small uh, phase one, two sponsorship uh, performed by investigators uh, at the University of Arizona and has completed a uh, observational trial at Moorfields Eye Hospital uh, of the clinical radiation dosimetry and the lesion imaging study. The uh, device is placed onto the retrobulbar episcleral uh, uh, area uh, overlying the neovascular uh, AMD, and the radiation is projected through the sclera to the target tissue, uh, delivering uh, 24 gray radiation. This is a minimally invasive procedure under the control of the retina surgeon. Uh, the procedure encompasses uh, making a small incision in the conjunctiva and then advancing the uh, applicator uh, posteriorly. And that's performed under the guidance of transillumination. A lighted tip is transilluminated through the sclera and is viewed by indirect ophthalmoscopy. And this allows the retina surgeon to place the probe uh, over the area of the lesion to be treated. Uh, this is a 15-minute procedure, start to finish, uh, five minutes of probe dwell time. Uh, when the probe is removed, nothing is left behind in the patient. Uh, this procedure is uh, designed to be readily adoptable by retina surgeons by fitting their current practice patterns. The single-use sterile pack device uh, it has no uh, capital costs and fits well into a procedure day uh, with, the, uh, with the surgeon. Radiation has been proved by other investigators in the Intrepid trial. A single dose of radiotherapy significantly reduces anti-VEGF retreatment with a favorable safety profile at one year and importantly, provision of visual acuity. The mechanism of action of radiation encompasses the major problems encountered in neovascular AMD. First is the radiosensitivity of the proliferating endothelial cells, and this includes both the budding new endothelial cells under VEGF control, but also importantly, the mechanism of failure of anti-VEGF therapy is mature vessels, sometimes termed feeder vessels, that have been invested by parasites, which are equally sensitive to the radiotherapy. And thus, radiation targets both the targets of anti-VEGF therapy as well as the proposed targets of PDGF uh, future therapy. Secondly, radiation has strong anti-inflammatory effects uh, and down-regulation of the macrophage that elucidates the uh, inflammatory pathway, thus uh, has the opportunity to uh, treat what may be the underlying mechanisms of this disease. Salutaris has sponsored and completed a small phase two study uh, this was performed by principal investigators Reed Schindler, Leonard Joffe, and Dr. Dino Stea at the University of Arizona. Well, not statistically significant, I'd like to present to you one uh, patient outcome. Uh, we saw improved vision and durability of vision in a number of the patients. Uh, this patient uh, presented here in the OCT at the left, uh, one can see the fluid collection uh, pathognomonic for wet AMD. Uh, the patient's best fit Corrected visual acuity was 20, 70, minus 2. The patient was enrolled in our study and received a protocol anti-VEGF injection, uh, as well as 24-gray brachytherapy as a salutaris study intervention. 
30 days later, the OCT shows resolution of the fluid and return of normal morphology of the retina and fovea and absence of a pathologic lesion by OCT. The patient had an 18-letter gain. Uh, the patient was followed for two years uh, without return of the lesion and without need for additional anti-VEGF injections. While not statistically significant, these case studies in, 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 uh, viewed at in uh, comparison with uh, other larger studies show that the company has reached a profound milestone. These patients are, colloquially speaking, cured of their blindness. The Solitaris technology and the Solitaris SMD-DA device applies three key concepts in radiation therapy to provide best practices for delivering improved outcomes. The first is a robust plan, planning treatment volume. Planning treatment volume is projecting into space a volume that encompasses the neovascular lesion, where in that volume the dose of radiation is therapeutic throughout the volume, both throughout the depth and throughout the width. The Solitaris device has been designed specifically to have a robust and adequate planning treatment volume at the target tissue. Two, the Solitaris technology allows for known and fixed distance target. This is standard planning and individualized therapy. Importantly, Solitaris is a minimally invasive procedure that lasts only five minutes, but it is analogous to standard of care therapy proved out in the collaborative ocular melanoma study, or COM study, that showed that plaque brachytherapy adherent to the retrobulbar sclera allowed for treatment planning that was adequate for the treatment of choroidal melanoma. Likewise, uh, our device sits at the, uh, on, this, on the sclera. In conjunction with Moorfields Eye Hospital, Salutaris has performed a observational study with principal investigators Praveen Patel, Cam Balligan, Adnan Tufail, and Mandeep Sago. They performed uh, imaging of 40 eyes to demonstrate that uh, standard imaging technologies could properly identify the distance to target from the uh, retrobulbar episclera to the apex of the lesion. This allows for accurate distance to target to be measured, and in conjunction with stable probe placement, ensures consistent, accurate dosing, individualized to each patient, and independent of the operator. Also noted is that with the radiation coming from the retrobulbar position and falling off rapidly past the apex, the retina always receives a lesser dose. Three, individualized targeting of the lesion. The retina surgeon places the salutaris device over the lesion using transillumination through indirect ophthalmoscopy. This allows him to place the planning treatment volume to fully encompass the lesion wherever it arises on the retina. In summary, the potential advantages of Salutaris MD technology include the following. This is a elegantly simple, minimally invasive procedure that fits with the practice patterns of the retinal surgeon. This fits into a procedure day. Uh, it, it has no capital costs and no continuing operation costs. It's a single packed sterile device. The patient is receiving therapy under the control of his or her retinal surgeon. And it's an elegantly simple procedure. The device provides for consistent radiation dosimetry, which has been shown in other disease states to provide for improved outcomes. And the retina always receives a lesser dose. Radiation provides for mechanism of action beyond anti-VEGF and includes targeting those resistant vasculature of proposed PDDF therapies as well as providing for profound anti-inflammatory effects. The clinical evidence suggests that this decreases patient treatment burden for anti-VEGF reinjection, and for some or many patients, may be a one-and-done intervention. I want to thank OIS for the opportunity to uh, get our message out to retina surgeons and the larger ophthalmic community. Thank you.